it might be over. So um, the perimeter of a field is 200 feet. So what is perimeter? Perimeter means it's the uh, distance, as I would, would have said to my students when I was teaching Algebra 1, um, if you ran around the outside and dragged your hand along the fence, you will have run 200 meters or walked 200 meters or whatever. So if you're walking the outside along the, along the, uh, the perimeter is what we call it, the boundary of the space that we're talking about, uh, the boundary of the field from everything else, you will have walked 200 feet from start to finish to get back to the same place. So they tell us that the twice the width is equal to one half the length. And so the equation that would represent that, I like to think of them as relationships. When we have these kinds of word problems, we always want to look for the relationship. So between anything, between things. In this case, we have um, the width. We'll use W to represent width. Um, t two times the width is going to equal one half of the length. So two times the width is equal to one half the measure of the length. Now, really, your teachers teach you to, to uh, set up the variables first, but I kind of, I would do the same thing because that's what we're taught how to do it. But in my own head, when I'm doing it, I look for the relationships first and I use variables as I think, then I go back and backfill because I don't know what, uh, what variables I have until I start figuring out what the relationships are and what I need. So we're going to be using width, so I'm, I'm setting up W to be equal to the width of my field. And I know we often use the short dimension of the field or short dimension of the rectangle to be width, but it really doesn't matter, right? Width can be either of the two. The other one, which we'll call length, and we will try to provide that as the value. I mean, the math is going to work it out that way. The long one, but uh, length L is going to equal the length of our field. Oops, I can't write. Okay, so that's that. So now we have this equation. We're going to solve for um, one of those, either L or W. I would probably solve for L, mostly because I don't want to have the fraction. If I divide both sides by 2, I'm going to end up having a fraction. If I choose to multiply both sides by 2, I'll end up having no fractions, at least out of this equation. But prior to that, we want to think about what it means to have a system of equations. So when we have a system of equations, we have more than one unknown variable. So for instance, we're used to doing this kind of thing, 3x equals 5. And this is a single equation, but it's okay because I have a single variable, a single unknown. But when I have two, length and width, then it's problematic. So every time I have a system of equations, that comes about because I have more than one variable. So if there are two unknowns, I have to have at least two equations. If I have seven unknowns, I have to have at least seven equations. It always works that way. So in this case, we have two unknowns. We need two equations. But so far, I only have this one. Is there another one? It appears in the first sentence. They tell us that 200 feet is equal to the perimeter but how do we calculate the perimeter? Well, it depends on what the shape is, but in this case, we have a rectangle. They actually didn't tell us that, so we assumed. So I already don't like the problem. It has nothing to do with your teacher, wherever they got it from, whoever wrote this problem. What if the thing was a circle and you told me the perimeter is 200 feet? And I know you're, I'm supposed to infer from the length and the width, but whatever. I don't know. I'm picky. I'm picky when I teach my business. So um, perimeter, in this case, since we're going to infer that it's a rectangle, is length plus width, as I'm walking around, plus length plus width. In other words, I have this sort of thing, and I'm calling this long side the length. If, in fact, is a rectangle, this one's the same length. That's my problem, is we can't assume that, right? But whatever. Width, and if it's a rectangle, again, that would be width as well. So if I started out right here and walked around, I would have walked one length, one width, one length, and one width, and that's how I get this expression. So we know that the perimeter is equal to 200 feet. So I simplify this expression, or simplify this equation, and I get this. 
L plus L is 2L, W plus W is 2W, and that equals 200 feet. Combine that with my other equation, which was 2W equals L over 2, and I have two equations and two unknowns, I have a system of equations. So again, I think I'm still gonna choose this one. I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna multiply both sides by two. I'm gonna get four W equals L. I'm gonna copy this one down so I still have my system of equations equals 200 feet. And that's my system of equations, right? And I slide up, I can ignore everything else because I'm just working on this little part. This is how I teach people to work through their algebra. Copy everything down, forget everything above, and then that's, this is assuming we did everything correctly. So now this one's already solved for L. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna substitute this 4w in for this L. Why? Because 4w is equal to L. So since they're the same, I can do this. 4w. And then that's in for this. The rest of it is plus 2w equals 200 feet. So now when I multiply these two, I get 8w, 2w, 200 feet. I get 10w equals 200 feet. That's combining these two like terms. If I got 8w's and 2w's, I have a total of 10w's. If I, multi excuse me, if I divide both sides by 10, I'm gonna have w equals 20 feet. So my width is 20 feet. So I'm gonna use one of the original two equations, either one, it does not matter. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna use the first one only because that one's a lot less math. I start out with 2w equals L over two. So I'm gonna substitute W in that we found. So that's two times 20 feet equals L over two. Two times 20 is 40 feet. And I get L over two. I'm gonna multiply both sides by two. And I get 80 feet for my length. Now, and of course the width was 20 feet. If that's correct, then my second equation should be correct when I substitute that in. So two, well, I guess I'll copy it all down. 2L plus 2W equals 200 feet. And then if I substitute 80 in for L and 40 in for, excuse me, 20 in for W, then I get this and I get two times 180 is 160. Two times 20 is 40 and 200 feet is equal to 200 feet, and it works. So that's what I would have done. Um, and hopefully that's helpful to you guys. Uh, let me edit this. It'll take, well, you don't know what time it is. As far as you know, I did this yesterday. Uh, talk to you later.